it's Dr. Amber checking in for my live for peripheral the peripheral neuropathy talk, the natural approaches to hap, helping with peripheral neuropathy. Um, I am late. Sorry about that. There was a bit of traffic. Anyway, I'm here now. And this is being recorded, so the good news is, is that you can always go back and listen to it. Um, so basically, I wanted to talk about peripheral neuropathy and what that actually is, so, and, and how we can help holistically. So that being said, peripheral neuropathy is where people uh, experience burning, numbness, tingling, sharp shooting, um... Uh, the the numbness is the one that really there's nothing that you can take even uh, medicine wise that really handles or changes drastically or corrects um, and numbness can be you know both dangerous for gait um, you know for walking uh, numbness also can be very maddening because you can't feel so you can't um, feel hot, cold. A lot of people, when they have this problem with peripheral neuropathy, um, the numbness, they wall walk, um, even in their own homes that they've lived in forever because they can't tell their body, um, can't tell itself where it is. So the communication from the feet to the brain doesn't occur properly. So anyway, um, peripheral means away. Neuropathy is where the nerves are actually not in good shape. They're not in good health. Um, it, you can get peripheral neuropathy from many different situations and reasonings. Um, one of the situations is actually being diabetic because di when someone's diabetic, it affects their vascular flow, which is the arterial flow that goes around all the small, tiny nerves. So peripheral neuropathy is the small, tinier nerves of the extremities. It's typically both sides, so we call that bilateral. It can be in your hands and arms. It also can be in your feet um, and legs. What we do to determine if someone has peripheral neuropathy and to what degree is we, let, let me get down, sorry, I'm at home and my cat. Um, what we do is very specific testing. So we do a nerve point test, um, which is determining sensation, light touch, uh, pin prick, also, we do muscle type strength tests to see if the larger nerves are involved, as well as our orthopedic chiropractic tests. Uh, we do reflexes. Uh, we handle the, uh, by doing um, the myotomes, we can handle and decide to what degree is their weakness. We also check pulse. So there's a vibration therapy. So it's very, very specific testing. To be honest, we're actually one of the professions that's very thorough with this situation because a lot of times, oh, see, he came back. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Um, it, we're very thorough in determining because we're actually testing the, the smaller nerve fibers, not just the large nerve fibers. Like when somebody's wondering, do I have peripheral neuropathy? A lot of times they get a nerve conduction test, which is actually the testing for large nerve fibers. Um, anyway, so that's kind of a tidbit there. We're very thorough. Oh, hi, Brenda. I see you. Um, anyway, so that being said, th being able to diagnose and determine to what degree someone has peripheral neuropathy is super key to actually coming up with what protocols and what they need chiropractically. So besides chiropractic, we also have these protocols, and that's what I mean by determining if someone's a candidate and what they need. We have protocols where we use a frequency machine. Um, it is amazing. It literally actually, uh, how do I say, brings to the table what that patient needs for their particular condition with peripheral neuropathy. So it's not like, it, we describe it as a TENS unit. You know, those are where you have the pads on you and it basically with an electrical current causes the muscle fiber tissue to contract, relax for relaxation. This frequency, though it's electrical, 
is going back and forth through the body and it's actually communicating due to the type of frequency it is to the body and it's individually able to help the the patient with peripheral neuropathy. So besides the fact of helping with peripheral neuropathy, it's fantastic for carpal tunnel, it's fantastic for sciatica, um, really, really innovative and exciting. Um, it's a very specific protocol that we do. We also put in nutrition depending on why someone has peripheral neuropathy. Like I said, I brought up diabetes because that's one of the main conditions that people have that cause it, but it can be due to surgery. It can be due to cholesterol meds, your statins. Um, it can be due to chemotherapy and the list goes on. There's over like 40 reasons why someone can get this condition. Um, where I'm passionate is that with some of the reasons of why people get it, you can actually reverse it. And I'm passionate about that. That's why I like talking on this subject. Um, I've actually done talks. Um, I'm in the middle of actually writing um, a book on peripheral neuropathy and empowering people that there's ways to actually reverse that problem and there's solutions that people need to know about. Um, I want to bring up because with chemo, statins, and diabetes specifically, those affect your vascular flow. And so, um, you know, when you're trying to heal the nerve, what gives the nerve its nutrition is your vascularization, right? That's what brings in the vitamins and minerals to your nerves. So when they're not doing well, we use red light therapy along with this frequency therapy. So red light therapy is light frequency. So a different Thing, but what it does is it actually rejuvenates the vascular flow. They call it angiogenesis. This stuff's been around since the 80s. NASA has tons of studies on it. It's fantastic. Um, so when you're, if the reason is also vascular, you can really help the patient to have such a great result. Anyway, um, I've been doing this now. I, I worked at a clinic where all we did was treat uh, peripheral neuropathy patients. I did that for five years. This is now like six years ago. Um, that clinic was around for about eight years. I was passionate about it. I did studies with the patients. I worked with them nutritionally, especially uh, my patients that were diabetic and had thyroid conditions and kidney problems. Um, um, and even the patients that came in that had peripheral neuropathy due to chemo, I was really able to help them on that nutritional end to help them even improve their health in general. But, um, you know, we do do this. There are, there are answers to problems in this realm and there are solutions to the burning numbness, ting tingling, sharp shooting. Um, I'm all about a thorough examination neurologically and orthopedically in order to determine what the patient needs to get a result. So very exciting. I've been doing this a long time. If you guys are interested or you know of somebody that has this, because believe me, when it comes to not being able to have your independence because you can't drive because you can't feel your feet, um, it's miserable. Or even just people suffering with pins and needles and tingling and sharp shooting. I mean, that's awful. Um, a lot of the solutions are like um, gabapentin, neurotin, and or neurotin. Um, the thing is, is there's a time and place for medication. Of course, I don't take anyone off meds or put anyone on meds. That's not my scope of practice. But those anti-seizure meds dumb and null the neurons so you don't have those sensations. But for those that are candidates to actually reverse it, super key. Anyway, um, you can DM me here on Facebook. I'm on Instagram. It's Voitenko underscore wellness. Um, you can reach me at info at Voitenko wellness dot com. 714-730-2225 is my number. Really exciting. We're doing Toys for Tots. I do this every year. My goal is to get 250 toys this year. Um, but if you bring in a toy worth a $20 value, you actually get a consultation exam. 
um, and an experience in our office with whatever protocol one needs, whether it's chiropractic or our protocols for peripheral neuropathy. So give me a holler if you have any questions. Um, you can also, even though I've been doing this talk for 15 minutes, I'm going to wrap it up, but you can ask the questions here on Facebook and I'll answer them as well. So um, anyway, thanks for all that are listening, but also you guys, I save these, I record them, so they're always on my Facebook, so you can always go back and um, listen again, and if you need people to help, um, or if you know people that need my help, they can listen again. Okay, great. Well, anyway, happy Monday, happy almost Thanksgiving. I'm thankful um, for being able to help so many people in my practice and people who are introduced to me and the people I'm introduced to. And I'm thankful for my patients, my family, health, all that good stuff. So anyway, I hope you have a great holiday weekend coming up and I'll talk to you guys soon. Okay, bye.